Okay, it's me again, and now I'm in the side yard, and I have my stone fruits here. I have peaches, plums, nectarines, apricots, apriums, pluots. Did I already say that? I don't know. So here they are. Can you guys see that? They're close spaced. I got so many fruit. This is the second year in the ground, and I cut them down. Oh, and I have blueberry, blueberries down here. They're new, relatively new. And more of my green stuff. They've already fruited and flowered earlier this year, so now they're just leaves. And they'll drop their leaves this winter, and then I'll get new growth and fruit. The fruit was amazing. I had so many peaches and pluots. Uh, those are my favorites. So this is that. I think I have 18 trees back here. Something like that. And I will take you over to the back. This is a newer planting area in the back. And it's a mess because I got rid of my um, watermelon and cantaloupe because there are so many of them and I didn't need all of them. I already had what I needed. So I will show you some of my trees. Some of them are in pots, but you know what? They're doing great. This right here is my mulberry tree and I love it. I had mulberries this year. I've had this, I think earlier this year, probably around fe February I got it. And oh, my plants are getting their water right now. If you can see, it's just in a big half wine barrel thing, whiskey barrel, I don't know what it's called, but it gave me lots of mulberries and I will show you pictures of what I harvested earlier. Then down here I have some raspberry bushes and I had some animal come and take a couple of the raspberry wood pieces, what are they called, shoots, but <laughs> they came back so whatever this is my tiny little blood orange tree I got it earlier this year and look I actually have a little baby on there so cute then right here this these are my goji berry bushes I got these earlier this year they actually have super cute purple flowers and I hope you can see that because I can't see my point of view aren't they cute and I'll take one see delicious very healthy for you okay this is one of my fig trees and I forgot which one it is it's either an LSU purple or a Panache tiger fig or um, a violet de Bordeaux or a Janet seedless I don't know but it's one of them I didn't label it this is another pomegranate bush. This one is an Eversweet. And I bought this bare root like earlier this year, probably February or March. And it's getting big. It looks great. This is another one of the fig trees. And I got figs off of these earlier this year. They were very good. My favorite was the Janus seedless. It was so amazing. This is an Australian finger lime tree. I and mean, they have really interesting flowers. They're not very showy. You can see some buds right here and I have actually had some finger limes already. They're really weird. They look like pieces of shit. I don't know how else to describe it. But when I uh, actually have a picture, I think of one that I picked out. They have thorns and they hurt. And one that I had earlier. This is another fig tree. And my figs back here in pots because they're invasive. The roots will get too big in the ground. There's another pomegranate tree. I think this one is my Parfianca. And I got this bare root the same time I got the other one bare root. And it's getting big. It looks great. There's another fig tree. And let's go around the back. This is a Kishu Mandarin. And I'm hoping you guys can see all this. 
Lots of little baby mandarins all over. It's so stinking cute. See all those mandarins? I hope you can. Then I have one of my um, lemon balm herbs down here. Smells great. This over here is my Forte avocado tree. I've had this since like February and it looks amazing. It's got great growth. It's doing really well. I'm really happy with that. This over here is one of my cherimoyas. These are more of an experiment to see if I can actually grow it here because it gets so freaking hot. But you know what? I've had this since like March and it's taken the 105 plus heat already and it looks good. It's very young, but I'm happy with it. I think it looks great. Over here is a pink lemonade, pink lemon lemonade tree. This one I struggled with, honestly, a little bit. It had lots of flowers on it and then our watering back back here got fucked up somehow and uh it's coming back though you know it's the main thing we got the irrigation straightened out and now it's doing good this one right here is my house avocado tree and i'm underneath a shade cloth thing because it's still young and it's fucking hot and i don't want it to die so i'll take the shade cloth off when uh when it gets a little bigger but there it is it's pretty i like it then over here i have oh improved meyer lemon i totally forgot what i planted it's not a very good view guys i'm sorry but look hopefully you can see i have lemons on it some down here over here i have a thai basil bees go crazy over it so i keep them they're awesome and I think this one's a cinnamon basil. Again, the bees go gaga over it. And then over here I have another cherimoya tree. Oh my god, I have a flower! Shit, look guys, do you see? That's a flower. And, okay. I need to wait until it's in the male stage and then I tap it, put it in a little black cup, and then when it opens up even more I can use a paintbrush and hand pollinate it because out here in Southern California we do not have insects that will pollinate it so I have to do it myself but I think it's worth it because I heard the fruits amazing then I have another cherimoya tree over here and you know again I'm just kind of experimenting to see if it's going to uh, do okay and they're still very young so I'm trying to keep them somewhat shaded. But as long as they don't totally die, they'll come back. They'll be fine for next year when they're a little bit older and stronger. So that is a very quick, hopefully, view of my fruit trees. I will put some pictures in the comments so you can see what fruit I've gotten off of them, what the flowers look like. Oh, beautiful. Um, right now, a a lot of stuff's not fruiting because it already did. We're towards the end of summer. So I will keep you guys updated and thanks for watching.